Let's admit that we all make mistakes. There's no learning process without them. As toddlers, we learn how to crawl, walk, and try to stand up. We fall, cry, and get back up, but never give up. As we grow older, we feel we should have things under control, so there shouldn't be much room for mistakes. The truth is, we don't control anything, so we're prone to making more mistakes. For example, when you bake a cake, you follow a recipe, and you expect results. If the cake turns out to be perfect, you're happy. When we get a good result, we usually take credit for it, or we tend to assume following the recipe is what actually caused the good result. If the cake turns out imperfect, you're unhappy. You think, what's wrong? I followed the recipe correctly. Did I make a mistake? I cannot make any mistakes. After all, I'm a professional baker. Check again. Something went wrong in following an order. Don't get disappointed. You're here only to obey the will of the order giver of the universe. This is how you realize what your reality is. In and of itself, the order in creation is perfect. Either way, success or failure, health or sickness, they all have one purpose. To teach you they cannot create anything but to obey the order. When I follow the order, I'm actually praying and asking God to produce the results for me. I only have the option to ask and follow the order. When I follow an order, I'm trying my best. The order doesn't produce the result because the order itself doesn't have a conscious will of its own. Everything in this universe must be totally dependent on an absolute source which establishes the order perfectly. Whatever exists, including ourselves, is part of the order of the universe. What we see as good or not is our own attitude towards creation. We are here to learn how the order of the universe works. In every act of creation, we see compassion. The Creator is teaching us compassionately to learn who the order giver is on the one hand and what our reality is on the other. It's my expectation of the result that needs to be visited. When we don't achieve what we desire, we usually ask ourselves, what did I do wrong? Where did I fail or make the mistake? My dislike of failure is mercy in itself. Failure is a reminder that we are completely subject to and reliant upon an absolute source. Everything in this universe is totally dependent on the absolute source. Failure forces us to come to terms with our reality. I'm here to follow the already set order. I cannot change it. For example, I don't create anything from nothing. Whether the cake is good or not isn't from me. It depends on my obedience to the order. I cannot be the source of existence of anything. Neither is anything else in the universe the source of existence. We're all subject to the will of the one that consciously established this order. While I expect to achieve good results, nothing is really under my control. I've only used my given free will to follow the will of the order giver of the universe. My power lies in acknowledging my dependence upon an absolute conscious source. The more I realize that I cannot create anything from nothing, the more I realize what my relationship to the absolute creator is. I appreciate that the absolute source of existence has filled this universe with mercy and compassion, and I feel my existence is secure within the context of this compassion and mercy. This is how we reach human perfection. Everything really belongs to me. This awareness should change my attitude towards my expectations of just achieving results. Remember, awareness of our existence is a learning process in and of itself. Even if the cake turns out poorly, it's because I haven't fully used my free will to follow the will of the Creator, and it's still a success for me, and the purpose of my existence isn't empty after all. Existence is a journey within the order of the universe created by an absolute source. Making mistakes is human. That's how we get closer to being one with an absolute source and attain perfection. Let's summarize it here. First, we don't really produce or control anything. Second, we need to acknowledge the absolute creator as the creator of everything at every step along the way. Third, as far as the results we get from following the recipe, our attitude should be I'm here to obey God's will by obeying God's order. That is what worship is. Fourth, whatever the result may be, 
we are being trained to learn who our Lord is. Fifth and finally, my perfection comes from realizing my imperfection.